Introducing first from Texas, weighing 230 pounds, Bobby Bass. His opponent from Calgary, Alberta, weighing 240 pounds, the North American heavyweight wrestling champion, Leo Burke. The referee, Stu Swartz. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Burke would like to be called the Ontario Dream. Well, the Ontario Dream is, uh, hasn't got his belt off yet, the uh, championship belt before Bobby Bass is wanting to get business underway before he gets his shirt off. I don't know where the Ontario Dream came from, and I'm not going to say anything about it. No, I don't either. I could understand if uh, he was wanted to be referred to as the Amer as the Ontario Nightmare, but the Amer the Ontario Dream th that's a little too much, isn't it? Bobby Bass, this fellow from Texas, you know, uh, this should be a very interesting match because they're both uh, men have basically the same style. They throw the rule book out the window. Bobby Bass, sometimes uh, you w we wonder if he's playing with the full deck. And anyway, uh, like I said, it should be a real barn burner because both styles are similar. They don't care about the rules. And we're going to see what happens. Bobby Bass and Leo Burke. Bobby seems to be shouting to someone outside of the ring. Not sure who that was. While we figure that out, why don't we uh, bring the folks up to date on some upcoming matches uh, that they'll see here on Maple Leaf Wrestling. Billy? I'd like to remind all our fans in the Brantford area that Maple Leaf Wrestling returns to the Brantford Civic Center tomorrow night at 8 p.m. featuring all the stars of Maple Leaf Wrestling. But tomorrow afternoon at 1.30, in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens, promoter Jack Tunney presents the card that everyone is talking about. You'll see Kurt Von Hess, Joe Marcus, Nick DiCarlo, Bobby Bass. In tag action, the K Brothers, Rudy and Terry, take on yours truly and Johnny Budsaw Weaver. Heartthrob Buddy Hart goes up against J.J. Dillon. In a North American title match, Leo Burke, the champion, puts his title on the line against Vinnie Valentino. In tag action, Handsome Jimmy and Dusty Rhodes go against the Assassins, number one and number two, who will be accompanied by their manager, Paul Jones. And finally, a world heavyweight title match inside of a 10-foot steel cage, and there must be a winner in this one. The champion, Rick Nature Boy Flair, takes on Harley Race. Now remember, this great card all takes place tomorrow afternoon, 1.30, in Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. Leo Burke is... Looking for a little discussion from Bobby Bass. Mixed it up in the center of the ring with a few equal kicks and a few equal things. I think uh, so far, Billy, the, you could say the match has been fairly even. The North American champion, as usual, taking his time. Uh, slow and deliberate, I guess, is how you'd uh, describe Leo Burke's tactics. Yes. A moment ago there, when we saw Bobby Bass whip uh, Leo Burke into the turnbuckle, there was actually a lot of the fans started to started to cheer for Bobby Bass and uh, Mike I think you'll vouch for this that's probably the first time I've ever seen any of any of the fans cheer Bobby Bass however uh, when you see Leo Burke it's easy to understand why I think uh, regardless of who goes against uh, Leo Burke it automatically be the favorite of the fans well, Leo as you said at the outset of this match uh, Billy uh, Leo is not really overly concerned with the rule book or being uh, Mr. Nice Guy, he's uh, decided to call himself the Ontario Dream, but you're absolutely right. The people are cheering for Bobby Bass, and uh, in my limited experience, it certainly is the first time I've ever seen anybody oh. cheer for Bobby Bass, but they're cheering that one. Yes. Whoa. He got an awful shot to the back of the head there when Bass kicked him off, and now Bass drives his head right into the mat. You can see Burke's forehead there. He's got it all bandaged up from a recent match. He just had, uh, I believe it was with Roddy Piper. Oh. And uh, that's where he received all the injuries to the forehead. Bobby Bass has certainly staggered him with those blows to the uh, canvas, and that is some hard trip. Look up. Oh, Riding and a slam. driving slam by Bobby Bass. Here's the Leo Burke we've grown to uh, know and love, begging for mercy while he can catch his breath, and a lot of guys fall for that, you know. 
Yes, he's always stalling for time. Every well, he's a master at it. When he gets in a little trouble, how he can uh, drag it out. Gets on the, uh, stays on the mat, backs into a corner, um, always manages to get up in time to beat the count if the referee's putting a count on him. But uh, he can really kill a clock. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that, he wasn't ready for that little rake down the gardening in the front. Oh my lord, a good shot to the midriff. I believe he's got him staggered here. Well, there's a hard thumb right to the Adam's apple by Bob Bass. And no doubt Bobby Bass uh, today is saying, well, that's my scientific thumb and uh, my scientific scratch down the chest. Now he goes to the throat area of uh, Leo Burke and Stu Schwartz calls for a break. Well, so he should look like he was an obvious choke there. Although we're blocked right now, we can figure there's an eye gouge maybe and a choke going on. Yes, Whew. that's exactly what was going on. Now, Burke comes back with a couple of hard shots right to the midsection, and now Bobby Bass is on the receiving end. Introducing him to the laces of his boot there, I believe, Bill. Yes. Oh! Hard right by Leo Burke. Well, you were right. You said it would be a barn burner because these guys have very, very similar, similar styles and tactics. And uh, as you said, and we mentioned earlier, that uh, the rule book is just gone for this one. Yes. Look out. Oh, and he runs right into a knee coming off the ropes. Bobby Bass, flat on his back. Leo Burke lines him up, comes down with a hard knee right to the head. And Burke goes for the pin. And just like that, Mike, this one's all over. He got it. We'll go for the official results over to Norm Kimber. The winner of the match, Leo Burke.